So, what do I hate? You're opposing hate. What do I hate? Oh, lady. What do I hate? What do I hate? What do I hate? You don't know, do you? You don't know anything about me. You don't know. That's why you don't. Of course you can't, because then you might become educated. Then you might learn something. I'm sorry? Bullying women. It seems like you're bullying me. You, am I bullying you or are you bullying me? A history teacher, define fascism. Um, Wrong. Wrong. Well, yes. It's the, the term you're looking for, lady, is totalitarian. It's totalitarian. Now, I am a limited government kind of guy. I'm a libertarian. I want less government interference in my life, not more. So how could you call me a fascist? You can't. So now you have demonstrated that all of your friends are idiots. They don't know anything about fascism. They don't know. No, that's not. A fascist? I'm asking for it. I've come here for political debate. I have come here for political debate. You are the fascists here. You are trying to shut me down. I am here for debate. I am. I would love to, but we can't. Let them back off. Then back off. Back off, and we can talk. Back off. Ever right? Let's get us some space. Come on. Let's like civilized human beings. Let's make some space. Let's make some space. Make. Yeah, I will make some space. Make some space, and she can speak. Make. Then get back. Make some space. Let's hear what she has to say. Let the lady talk. No, you are preventing the lady from talk. Well, don't worry, you'll be fine. I know I don't want to be on Why can't you oppose me? Why are you afraid of opposing me? But why? What's wrong with that? Yeah, but you're giving it to the fascists, are you not? Well, yeah, but you're, I don't understand why you're not allowed to engage in public dialogue. I am, but I have to still. Yeah, but you won't be in trouble. Why would you be in trouble? You won't, be in, you won't be in trouble for telling me I'm wrong. Come on. Okay, well, thanks. But uh, at, least, at, least, at least we can agree that I'm not a fascist if I'm for living to the government. At least we can agree that. As a history teacher, you must know that. Well, define neo-fascism. Well, as in, I, I think constitutional government is the way forward. Constitutional democracy. As in, I want, li I want, I want limited powers and accountable politicians. That's why I'm here talking to people, because I want accountability. You guys can come and hold me accountable for the things you think I've said. How would you limit the power of politicians? What would you oh, do? definitely via constitutional... Uh, basically, I'd like the United States of America, a written constitution. So a historic constitution has been nice, but it requires a kind of culture of good faith, and I think we've the lost EU that. the EU has given us with all our human rights? laws and so on. Yeah, well, we, the, got that? we, we wrote we've those. We've got a constitution come up through our history. Well, yeah, but the so thing is, hang on, hang on, hang on. We, we it's don't not, need one. We've it's got not, one defined by our Yeah, laws. but it, it's actually not, because ours is a historic constitution. It's not actually uh, clearly defined, and so we don't have constitution. Really, no, it's listen, listen, is, listen. It's uh, really I, I will explain, I will explain what I mean if you let me finish. Okay. Right? What, what it requires is a certain level of good faith when it comes to interpretation. I believe we've lost that, which is why we now have hate speech laws infringing on free speech. Now, you might not like the things that are said that hate speech laws are catching, but that certainly is a violation of our principles of free speech, which are codified in our laws, in our historic constitution, as you say. Another one, another one is the sovereignty of Parliament. We don't get to set our own immigration rules. That's actually set by directors from the European Union. That is overriding the sovereignty of Parliament, and that means that Parliament is not sovereign, which is actually a legal problem. There's currently a legal challenge in the courts over this very issue. So at the end of the day, you can sit there and say fascist, 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 but I'm a constitutionalist, I'm a democrat, I want limited government nothing about what i'm saying comes from the socialist or fascist traditions i'm a liberal a very strong liberal at that and that's something that honestly the progressives don't like i don't think so well what I am i saying that's not liberal we have our own yeah, democratic institutions yeah. that have grown up since the hundreds, but they're becoming hundreds politicized. of years. You're imposing something on us that we don't need. No, I, I think we do need this. I think that you guys are an exact proof that we need this. Yeah, yeah but the fact, the fact that you're trying to stop me from doing anything. We're a very different this. country from the United States. The United States is a massive country with lots and lots of states. Yes. It's a federal government. Yes. We don't need that. We're a well, I didn't say we should be the United States. Well, you're saying about a constitution. And as soon as yes. you start 
start talking about freedom of speech and impingement of the freedom of speech, you're then imposing your own ideas about what freedom of speech should be, and it's well, not right. Well, yeah, but I disagree with you that we. You know, I think we should have freedom of speech. No. We you should clearly have freedom don't. I, I believe in but freedom of speech. But you agree with speech. hate speech laws, right? But I don't believe that we should we should say things that don't hurt people or inflame their opinions. How, how, how can a so word hurt it has to be, So it's freedom of speech with responsibilities. We have to have responsibility for what we well, say. Well, we do have responsibility. But then that's not true. But then your your definition of freedom of speech, we've already it's already there. Why are you trying to change but it's something? Not. It's, it's that actually works being really suppressed. Well. It's not working. No, it's really not well. being suppressed. There are thousands of you people. You are saying no, inflammatory things about women. Oh, you're not allowed to do it. Yes, it's I am. I'm allowed to say that. I am absolutely allowed. You do you know how I know I'm allowed? Because I wasn't Cause arrested. Hate speech. I wasn't arrested. Oh, it well, that makes it okay. No, I'm not. They're not contacted. It's lies from the media. No one has contacted oh, me. And that's the sort of thing Trump would say as yeah, well. But lies from do the you media. trust the media? Um, no, some you of it, don't. Because don't actually, be I think the BBC actually are very much UKIP supporters. They keep putting you, Naraj, the BBC are UKIP yeah, supporters. Yeah, they keep putting Farage on and all sorts Farage is in a part of UKIP. So it's okay. well, it was though, wasn't yeah, it? I mean, it's now, UKIP in a different Come on, colours. come on! No one's going to say on. that BBC supports yeah. UKIP. Well, they are. That's ridiculous. They are more, that is ridiculous on the face of it. Water. Anyway, that's ridiculous. Regardless Ninety of that, percent of BBC right coverage of has been pro-Remain. Look at any BBC Question Time. It's it's Remain, Remain, Remain communist, conservative. And why do well, they you take your information from a variety of sources? Yes, you must. Yes. That is the best. Yeah. Yes, that's correct. Yes, absolutely. Yes, not just the BBC. Well, I totally agree. I hate the BBC. Uh, I think we should get rid of the license fee, frankly. Um, but the the idea of freedom of speech, it actually does allow me to say things that offend people. That's the point. And it, it really is, as George Orwell said. Freedom of a speech with responsibility. Well, there, there are it responsibilities, but nothing I've said has been not illegal. To offend people. No, that's but not you've true. You've been that's on not the true. edge of it no, illegal. I, I no, not at all. I totally you've agree with George Orwell on this. If freedom of speech is to mean anything at all, it must mean the right to offend. It must, no, because otherwise no, we're not I free, disagree. and it's your feelings that I are tyrannizing me. Yeah, I know, because you're a tyrant. You want me I to stop talking for your feelings. I don't care about your feelings. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that All I don't right. care about your feelings. Well, I think you just managed to say what you yeah. actually represent. Yes, well done. Yes, free you speech. just said you don't care about my no, feelings. No, but you don't care about politician. mine. You don't care about my yeah, feelings. Yeah, but I'm not a politician. Yeah, but you are intimidating me along with all of these other people. Really? Yeah, Do you not so think that I, I should think feel you've intimidated? you just said what you needed to say about Yes, yourself. I did. Thank you. Yes, well done. I love demonstrating the tyranny of the middle classes. It's wonderful watching you demand other people shut up for your feelings. I'm, I'm sorry, but it's necessary. I want um, everyone to hear what you're saying. I don't um, just hear my side of the story. I'm hearing a lot of contradictions from what you're saying. You're yes. saying about you're talking about freedom of expression. You're talking about freedom of speech, and yes. yet your ideology towards so many facets of our society is filled with so much prejudice. Well, what's my ideology? If you got well, into power, would you afford these same freedoms? Would you afford the same freedoms to us if what? you were in power? What do you uh, it's think a question. you're doing here? It's a question. Hang on. It's a question. It's a question. Right. I am giving you a platform right here. I'm recording this. I'll put this out to the world. Yes, I will give you the right to free speech because I, I well, I can't take that away because from I'm you. A, because I'm a white man. That's why. No. Yeah, no, that's why you're that's giving awful. me the freedom. That's if awful. I was a Muslim, if I was of a homosexual, I if I was a woman, you. you wouldn't have the same respect I for me, would you? I just spoke to a woman. I just, that's an awful racist thing to say. That's absolutely disgraceful. We'll talk to anyone about anything. So how answer my question. No, how dare you? What? Answer I'm literally. Question. What? Would I afford free speech to uh, people who aren't me? Would you afford free speech? Mike. Would you afford free speech in the same way that you have been sat and talking about freedom of expression, like we're suppressing yes. it? Yes. I think yes. if you were in power, you wouldn't afford that the same way. Why right. would I not? Why would I do it now? Why would I do it now? Because you're not in power. Wrong. That's you talking, not me. I am for free speech for every. What I want to do is section 127 of the Communications Act. That is the thing that is suppressing free speech in this country. Everyone has a right to free speech. It is one of our inalienable rights and it is being suppressed. So no, I, I would not take it away. I'm an activist for it. I'm giving you a platform despite their best, in best attempts to stop me. I, I am going to carry on giving a platform to people as, as much as I am able. Don't sit there and say that I wouldn't do it just because you're a white man. That's terrible. That's absolutely terrible. You should be ashamed of saying that. Why do you say it so blasé? 
How do you say everything that you've said so blasé in Because order I to mean it. I really mean it. You mean it when you make these comments. Well, when I make jokes, yes. I stand by my jokes. You stand by your jokes. So crazy. Thank you. I'm sorry, I can't, I can't hear what you're saying. You're going to have to use this. I'm not going to be part of your press anymore. Well, have fun. <laughs> <laughs>